hello everyone welcome back to my channel this video is going to be an update of my life basically it's going to be like a kind of like a full recap of what's going on with my life at this point um no more ums for me uh, i'm starting today i'm starting my last classes well there are just only two last classes of my college and in january i'll be done with college which is sad because i enjoy my time being in college and working on my classes and doing projects stuff like that writing papers things like that because i'm mostly i'm used to the school life even though i feel kind of really bad of not documenting my life in middle school high school and when i started college which was back in 2021 in september we're now in now november of 2024 so yeah it's quite been something else and i'll be a post-grad next year which is obviously ooh, sad because i have to be entering the job market which is not easy i've done recently is like look into the job market try to apply some jobs see if anyone would accept me none <laughs> zero um also too i've looked into ugc which is basically making content for brands of their products giving them a review a testimonial a product demo tutorial unboxings uh things like that for like different brands which is pretty cool and i'm like really i'm okay in content creation because i know i'm not the best best <laughs> because i am not really good at doing the things that other content creators do which is okay because i'm quite it shows that I'm quite different from others, which is fine, which is okay. Uh, mostly, oh shoot, that's what's wrong. Uh, mostly when I do start my day and doing the first class, always my first class is start on Wednesday and they always end like two months later because it's like eight weeks of class, right? So usually I start kind of ahead, which basically when I'm out of class, when my class ends, and then the next following week comes, I start doing the academic integrity like thing to show that I acknowledge that I'm not going to plagiarize or anything for the school. And also, I do download my syllabus to my good notes and then start setting up of like my digital notebooks, which basically I just use Pinterest images and like notebook images and like put them together, basically, which I'll show you because that's how it helps me stay on track of well of course college and doing homework discussion boards when i have to reply to them which i have not been really that good for the past few classes where i usually reply to one person when i'm supposed to reply to two people but then i forget because i'm busy with like other things or i just get lazy which is wrong <laughs> obviously but my last class my last two classes one was really hard because it was my capstone class and i've never been in a capstone class before and it was really hard because my professor would always point out something wrong is wrong with my paper and usually it was the lengthiness of like how long my paper is which i'm like bro you want 20 pages of a capstone paper there's so much information about the company i was like researching on which was samsung and like they had a lot of stuff that you know what he what my professor would ask what we would do each week like for instance a SWOT analysis or things like what can cause this company to be delayed on shipments of products, gathering resources to make their products, all that stuff. And it was a lot of details with Samsung and like all the stuff that they do, uh, their staff members, along with their things that can delay them, like weather and all that crazy stuff, which was really a hard class. I think that was my hard class next to my math class. Cause I had to do some accounting classes, which I've done three. And then the other class that was really hard was the, it was like a human ethics class, basically talking about different biases in class. And it was kind of hard. Well, it's supposed to be easy because you're just like, it's humans, like motions, biases, things like that. And then put it in a business standpoint. But it was kind of like hard for me because my professor, my other professor would always point out something was wrong with my paper or my presentation was missing something that i did think i did add but it wasn't there or it was glitching or something was wrong with something but i got it finished and complete which i passed the class thank god with a b i thought i was gonna pass the class with a d but i didn't thank god um because wow 
it was crazy. It was it was a long journey with that class. Um, but yeah, another thing in my life at this point, I have done some videos, of course, with doing horror games for Halloween, and I stopped. Because I got busy with Halloween and decorating and then undecorating the house. It was like, oh, oh my god, it's so crazy. Um, also, I was busy with hanging out with my family, of course. I thought I just got to spend time with them, of course, which is fine with me watched Halloween movies and stuff. I finally like finished watching Jason Friday night Friday the thirteenth, which I didn't watch number eight. I just I passed that because I was trying to like really set up my UGC stuff because I was like learning from Linda create creatively Linda on YouTube and Millie Adrian I think is her name. Like I'm like trying to set up stuff and making my portfolio which i did ask people on the reddit ugc creators platform like is my portfolio okay like is it nice is it fresh people said no i think you should change it to a different template or no you should turn off the autoplay which i did turn off the autoplay because it was kind of annoying honestly um or they say oh no it's more like a presentation than a website i'm like oh my god what the heck am i gonna do i need to I need to set that straight, of course, with the portfolio of UGC because I really want to do it. I want to give it a try and see where it goes. I know a lot of brands don't, I mean, they'll work with a nano influencer or they mostly want to work with micro influencers because they have more of an audience than a nano, which a nano is like below 1,000 folks. So I'm like, Okay, which I learned that in my other class, which was dealing with uh, PR, which is public relations and social media and like how businesses like not I won't say the word use, but they will they will ask people who are like celebrities or for instance, TikTok influencers, content creators to help their brand be known and like have a good brand reputation. Uh, but there are some brands out there that will scam and then there are business will plummet because they don't not a lot of people want to do a scamming co uh, company so other than that let's work on what I was about to say which was my good notes actually so I use my iPad she's an iPad Air 5th generation and she's purple because I love purple so much it brightens my face up I have her set on hold on a winter's theme I know it's like mini so but I went to mini so when I was like last year and it was like during winter so I used that as my lock screen other than that whoop, this is what it looks like for the winter setup and then that's the second page I know I have extra pages but these are like my adventure time theme that I'm still keeping because I like adventure time and all that stuff even though I'm very terrible I'm sad to announce that I worked on my planner for my adventure time planner like that's finished but what's holding me back is like drawing out the stickers that I want to do like I only got a few stickers done <laughs> I like put it in the back of my head of not doing the stickers because I was one busy with school and second thing I was busy with doing other things like for instance gaming or like reading so yeah so what I do is these are my two syllabus on here and like I keep them like of course tracked so like this is one of my classes that I'm doing which I think this is my like, international business class and then I have my mass media communications class hold on it's like on first page which keeps track of every single item that I gotta do for the weeks then lastly is my two notebooks down here for the classes this is my original time planner which i haven't really used i want to like sell it and like you know get it out there but i haven't done nothing yet with it so this is my international business notebook it looks like this i got this image from pinterest that's what you gotta do then i got a homework tracker so that's another image and then notes like a dotted one ones with lines and like i guess memo pads and that's basically it on that one and I have one for basically it's the same style but this one's with peanut snoopy for fall because technically we start in November and then we end in January so that's how the class works and then I'm done if I was continuing to go to school I would probably get my master's but I I want to take a break from school and besides I wouldn't want to 
do that because I really want to get a job first and then go back to get my master's. I maybe want to get my doctorate, even though <laughs> that'd be way like, like, girl, what are you doing? Girl, that's gonna be way harder for you. But like my last year of, well, my last year, which is like my senior year in college, I felt like it was, it wasn't as difficult as my sophomore and junior year because my sophomore and junior year had more of the math going on and like different things with like marketing and stuff that was a little complicated but not that complicated like the math i think only thing that my senior year was complicated with was basically this capstone class i'm like what the heck but <laughs> that's how i have my stuff tracked down on my schoolwork i also sometimes use notions a little bit of everything basically if i can find it there it is um notions which i use basically almost every day like for instance I do. Ooh, hold on. I'm looking. This is like my book tracker. But hold on. I made a uh, I made a notions dashboard that is on sale. It's an Adventure Time theme um dashboard that I made myself. I just add the images and stuff. Clocks. I add to, a to do list, which just says to list. <laughs> supposed to be a to-do list i have a brain dump page i have a book tracker a gaming tracker a finance planner and a job application tracker so like they're all here and then there's the playlist of that it has a mix of songs of i call it my best friend playlist but it has a mixture of songs of adventure time and then i have like lehigh in here i have way to earth i have matt maltese in here men i trust cigarettes after sex lamp Suki Waterhouse, TV Girl, Mitski, more Lamp songs, because I feel like Lamp, it kind of gives the vibe of Adventure Time in a little bit of a way, because mostly when you see Adventure Time, you remember Summer. I had Faye Webster, which is Kingston, Boa for Duvet, The Black Skirts, I have some Korean songs on here, I have Jana B, I have New Jeans, I don't know why I added all these songs, but I added them, because I really like them. I have Be Bada Doop Be, Be Bada Doop Be, glue song in there, I thought it was really cute. We have Midnight Trust again, Mac DeMarco, Lafe, uh, I added Lafe and Croissant, Liana Flores, uh, another Mitski song. I had some two, I had two songs that were from Jinjin Impact. I don't know why I did, but I just did. Don't judge me. Uh, I have Sweet Dreams by Zhang Nada. I have RM, which is Come Back to Me. I don't know why I added that song, but I. I like that song in a way. I do like it, but I don't know why I added my best friend playlist. <laughs> I did random songs in here, but I do have basically all of Adventure Time songs on here. And I added songs from Belle the movie too as well. I also added Heaven by RM as well. I feel like Heaven and Come Back to Me, I just feel like it's just Adventure Time mode. Like a mood, like the scenery, like the how like the nature and all that stuff. I also added, which was my calendar, and hold on, my, ooh, my calendar, like those are all my assignments and stuff I had done, which is week five, week eight, and then I have to now add all the classes and discussion boards that I do each day. I'm gonna feel so sad though, I would go back to school, but like, uh, no, thank you, no, thank you. I'm good, honestly. I'm good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That also, I have two other updates. Is that I am a ambassador for Pongo Pongo Book. I don't know what my code is yet. I uh, wait. I do know what it is, but I didn't write it down. I need to find my like. I need to find it. Pongo Book. I'm just gonna let it download on my iPad because I have it on my phone, but. I don't have my code written out. I need to write it out so that everyone knows what my code is because guys get deals, you know. Pongo Book is like Macari, but basically everyone sells like used books or books that are new. Or how should I say it? <laughs> Hold on. How should I say it? It's more like Macari, basically. There are used books on here. There are, basically. But let me see. What is my code? My discounts and offers. Send offer, no, 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 that's not even right. Pongo, where's my, maybe it's not on the app. Shoot, I forgot. I'll find it, I'll find it. I can just go log in into my 
what is it my laptop because I have my handy dandy laptop right right here just right behind you there you go I'll just do that I literally forgot my code and I've got to you know get my code out like I needed to I didn't make a post about my ambassadorship for pongo books nor did I I made a post for mother games on my Instagram and that as well I am ambassador for that for mother games it's like it was like I was scrolling one night on Instagram and I saw this like gaming image of this thing I was like oh that's so cool I want to try it and so I signed up to be a play tester and all that and I waited for about like a day or so and I got accepted as an ambassador for mother games so I was like really excited oh god what's my password <laughs> I forgot oh my god I forgot what my password is for this account no well at least I have it saved on here I can't believe I forgot there you go where are we uh, what is it there you go hold on while I quietly type ASMR come on Push allow oh shoot what is it it is be able to find it easy now because they said when you do get your code mostly it's better to see it on the we call it the website on your laptop or desktop and i'm like what there it is there you go there's my code so i'm gonna put the code in my description and then put the landing page like it's supposed to be like your ambassador code landing page on my description but my code is basically my first name i can't change it sadly but it's saudia four four nine six one six so it's s a a d i y a a four four nine six one six that's my code i'll put it all down in the description of this youtube video because why not you guys can go get some books you can also sell books on there too um but you can sell books basically all you have to do is scan the books um barcode like the book barcode on the back of the book and then it can like automatically identify what that book is if it doesn't then you just have to type it out manually what the books what the book title is the author all that jazz what the book is all about stuff like that if it's like manually but i'll just no i just locked out my bad but that's okay um but yeah mother let's talk about mother games mother games is kind of like new and upcoming they use Unity, I believe. I'm on their Discord, so I gotta like type up everything. Well, look up everything for Mother Games. So basically, here we are. Let's go to Ambassador HQ. And basically, uh, Mother Games is basically just uh, a virtual area where people test out their characters. They have different kind of concepts of their. Um, what do you call it of uh, their cartoon characters and they're they're cute some people may think they're kind of odd looking but yeah it's basically basically that's what it is it's like a play test area a sand it's basically an exploration simulation sandbox game but it's not out yet because it's still in testing in beta mode and of course i'm excited i'm in bastard i was about i got elected bastard last month which was october which I'm pretty happy. Um, there are some game links, but I will not show because I don't want to get in trouble at all. And I'm very like happy that I'm in this group. Of course, my group is House of Mirrors because there's different houses in Mother Games, so I'm House of Mirrors actually. So yeah, but it's pretty 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 fun testing things out. I'm waiting for my play test, my play test tester flight. Uh, invitations so that's what I'm waiting for another thing in my life that I'm doing I'm journaling I recently got into better me which by me is not sponsoring this video I wish but I enjoyed better me I did try their like 28 days workout thing I only got in two weeks 
I was busy <laughs> and some days I didn't feel like exercising I would walk or just sit and not do nothing which is bad it's bad but I got into Pilates and um, better me has so many different like different types of exercises um, than just Pilates which I really like because they have dancing they got things for women who have postpartum like they're doing postpartum exercises you can do um, fitness at home you can do somatic exercises you can do sofa yoga face yoga there's dancing workouts there's quick workouts there's also this exercise type called ballet I never heard of it but it looks it reminds me of ballet so that's what it reminds me of there's prenatal fitness and there's postpartum workout fitness there's body positivity workout prenatal yoga wall pilates also for seniors and dancing for seniors they have tai chi uh they have tori repa wall pilates boxing family workouts they have hit workouts they have wheelchair fitness back protecting knee protecting stretching indoor walking senior fitness tabata which it seems really like hardcore workout <laughs> like when you go to the gym and you do those those things that you roll back and forth from on the floor you got chair yoga you got no equipment workouts too um they have pajama pilates you can even do a video where you do um exercises on your bed too which i thought was pretty cool but they have a little bit of everything um on here they also you can also do fasting on here you can also buy their challenges too which they range 9.99 14.99 even up to 20 dollars to 30 dollars too of their workout um i did mine for only 3.99 because it was like they were giving me a promo code for their like stuff like they really wanted me to like hey you should try this out i'm giving you 80 percent off this this workout so I was like okay I'll try it It was like three dollars then you can do is a updated meal plans mine's kind of grayed out I don't do meal plans because I feel like I just I just don't basically even though I should because I think I should eat more healthy and I've been kindly I've been kind of thinking if I shouldn't eat out as much food <laughs> but like I try not to but hey I like eating out I do I do but lately, I have been feeling like when I go out, I don't feel as hungry when I go out. It's like really weird. It was weird yesterday. When I went out, I ate oatmeal. And I didn't eat until like 7 at night because I just wasn't hungry. Like the air felt really weird and stuff like that. So yeah. You can also log in your calories and you can do your water intake every day. And you can do your workout intake as well. And also, this connects us to your health. And fitness app so like it counts your calories too which is good because i like i like that a lot you can also do the find your fitness level with the help of ai technology basically you have to do is lay on the floor do a plank and then it like looks at your like it scans your body and then you do that i haven't done it so i'm comfortable doing that and then they also have the better me for which you can buy their equipments and stuff which is kind of pricey but if you want to do it you do it or you can find um, what do you call that? You can find, like, stuff that's more affordable for you, which I did. I bought some exercise stuff, like, grip, sh like, socks, uh, a ply toe ring, a ball, all from Sheen. I bought it from there, so it was more cheaper, though. So, yeah, but that's what I've been doing. I was trying to get back into fitness. I am a lazy bum, and currently, my last time weighed was 226 pounds. I don't know what I am right now, but my, my body weight tends to fluctuate. One day I'm 230, one day I'm in 220, one day I'm at 215, and like it fluctuates back and forth. It's really weird. So I don't mind. And my wallet. I drink more of my water. So I recently got an idea from a girl because this other girl on YouTube, she does is she fills up this one gallon of water and pours it into her like Stanley and drinks it all up in one day which i just started doing i did good the day before yesterday i didn't do it yesterday because we were like busy and i forgot to fill her up so i was like okay never mind <laughs> i won't do that but yeah that's what i'm doing lately and of course i gotta start class start reading because usually the first week of class has most of the reading to do and in the middle week it has one reading to do it's crazy it is with school and stuff and enjoying doing things i am thinking about lately is making my own digital hobonichi uh 
journal well not journal hobonichi planner i've seen hobonichi planners and kimborn planners like viral on tiktok like it's on my for you page i'm like stop <laughs> you may want to get hobonichi but when i look at the hobonichi price i was like uh no you can keep the 50 dollars plus your other price for like covers and stuff like no then i saw the kimborn i'm like that's not a bad price it's 10 bucks i'm like that's not bad but like i want to make my own digital one though I don't know how but I gotta figure out how to how to do it and like the layout and stuff like what colors am I gonna do if I go make it pink or I'm gonna make it purple I made another cover to the original time cover pink so I have that but I have it saving photos so yeah I am currently working on the video of my a wall unboxing it was recorded like two months ago and i never edited or even did it so it's gonna come after this video i believe because i'm still <sighs> i forgot editing the video i was so happy when i first saw her she was like pretty i can get more because i'm feeling really fine she was so pretty she is so pretty and then i added um this as my charm because i didn't get him yet because i wanted to match with j-hope because he has this mong charm and i went to match especially for the his military um discharge which was last month um but i had him as my charm and i have this boot and i have a strawberry boot and a pink boot yes i also have this attached to i've got the strap attached and i have the silver roll from mcdonald's and duncan just to add a pop of pink um but yeah i really enjoy my walla she's so easy to clean i let her soak I'm gonna clean her like two weeks from now. But maybe I should clean her this week. But I don't know, I've been drinking a lot of water and I've drunk coffee. I'm trying to like lower my coffee intake. Okay, I like now I drink one cup a day. I used to have a bad craving for coffee. I would drink it twice, two, sometimes three times. But it's because I need energy and then no sugar and it. it doesn't help me <laughs> at all. So like now it's just what it's just one cup of coffee or it's ice or it's warm which lately i've been drinking warm coffee because it's cold season it's feeling like winter well for me it's full more like fall because of the leaves and stuff we don't have snow yet thank god <laughs> we don't and probably this year we won't get snow i'm not sure maybe a little drizzle of snow because the state doesn't really snow that much unless you're further south it snows more you're like oh they're lucky they have winter wonderland while well, we up here we don't have that <laughs> but other than that yeah that's basically the end of this video of my update of my life what i'm doing and like that type of stuff i haven't done none of practicing on dancing yet so i don't have any choreography or anything crazy like a k-pop dance cover or something i just haven't done any of that okay i haven't done none of that I have tried to get back into drawing and reading my book, which I'm actually reading Heart, Sun, Heart of the Sun Warrior. And I read like part one of Tales of Celestial Kingdom because it was like the first tales of the first book. I'm not reading the second part because it's now the second book, which is Heart of Sun Warrior by Su Lin Tan. And after those two books, I'm just going to read my Bible because I want to read the new, the new Testament. I did start reading it on one chapter five of Matthew and then I stopped because busy things got in the way i'm like it's no good excuse i need to get back reading my bible but but i will i will <laughs> so i'm gonna end this video and i really hope you like my video please make sure to uh like and subscribe and even hit the notification bell even though i don't post that much i don't post that constantly consistently um but i should though so yeah bye guys